Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm not cooking again, I'm uh, going to rabbit on some more about YouTube's insane demonetization policy. YouTube seems to have um, embarked on a, an undeclared war against us creators, uh, <laughs> accusing us of making content that's unsuitable for advertisers and using that as an excuse to take away our monetization, which is paltry to start with, but you know, when you reduce paltry, unless you have millions of subscribers, um, it's pretty tough. I don't have millions of subscribers yet, but one day I hope to, so we keep on. But yeah, the demonetization thing has been driving me crazy. I've been losing monetization from, on average, about 700 views per video that I've released since they started um, demonetizing them. And that amounts to, you know, not a huge amount, but um, every little helps. And I would like to be paid for my work, please, Mr. YouTube. Oh, mighty one. You might want to have a look at another video on this same topic from a fellow called Lindy Beige, Lloyd. Lindy Beige, yeah. He's a very erudite and amusing speaker. Uh, and he, he talks at some length about the contract or the lack of contract between YouTube as the employer and the creator as the, well, not employee, but subcontractor, if you like. Um, there isn't a contract. We do not know from one day to the next what we're going to get paid for each view of one of our videos. We just don't. It's impossible to find out. So we feel a little bit aggrieved by that. Anyway, I digress. Chicken. Chicken tea. It's the best. I've been keeping a very close eye on when YouTube hits that demonetization button and immediately appealing it and waiting while they get a human to review it um, and then remonetize it, which they always have. Uh, and I don't doubt they will continue to because there is nothing in the slightest bit offensive about my content, you f uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, where did that come from? <laughs> Wasn't me. When I first started complaining about this, uh, Thomas Herendorf, one of my fans in France, he, he told me about a thing that he'd seen on somebody else's video. Um, I didn't really understand it, but I thought, what? well, I, I, I was just appalled at what he was suggesting the solution would be. It made no sense to me whatsoever. But then last week I was uh, talking to my, my niece's fiancé, who's an IT guru and knows whereof he speaks, and he mentioned the same thing. Um, so I had a little cry because it, it goes to the heart of how you promote your, your videos and your channel. And it's this, it's your thumbnail. Now, your, your video thumbnail if your, if your video was a book, the thumbnail is the cover. It's what sells the video to potential viewers. It's what shows up in search engine results, in suggestions from YouTube. Um, it's shown before your video starts playing. It's all over the place. And it's got to be good. It's got to be attractive. It's got to say, well, mine says the name of the channel, the name or the title of the video, more or less, and a photo of the dish or whatever it is. Um, and it's, you know, YouTube themselves in their training materials, they make enormous, enormous play about this. You must have a great thumbnail. Do not leave home without a great thumbnail. Being told, uh, don't make a great thumbnail, just to use one of the three suggestions that YouTube presents you with when you upload your video. It made me cry. This is just so, so wrong. Apparently, the logic behind it is that it's one of the few things about a YouTube video that you can change after you've published it. Okay, you can change your thumbnail at any time. You can change the title of your video, you can change the meta tags, the description, and you can add a new soundtrack, but it's some pre-selected pre garbage from YouTube's audio library. So you don't want to do that. Um, but you can't change anything else about the video for obvious reasons, because, you know, once, once you've got your video up and running, it's got other sources linking into it and things, and you then ch change it for some 
terrorism or hardcore porn or something, then yeah, you know, it's a problem. So understandably, you can't do that. So a few days went by, I uploaded a new video and I thought that, um, well, I had a look at the, the, generally the three thumbnails that YouTube um, selects automatically, not randomly, automatically from previous videos. And they always include this one, the channel ident, if you like. Um, usually another frame that has some graphics on it, usually not the graphics I want, you know, it'll be the, the conversion of a temperature or something, which is no good. And something else, me picking my nose or stirring a cake or something. And it occurred to me, these are not random selections. YouTube has an algorithm that can pick out video frames that have graphic content in them. It wouldn't be hard to write an algorithm like that if you felt so inclined. You'd be looking for areas of plain color, um, straight edges unusually straight edges and most of the time that would get you a frame with graphics in it. So I thought right um, what I'll do and I don't like doing it because it interrupts the flow of the video is make the channel graphic the thumbnail that I would normally make and slam it in there for a second or two and YouTube may or may not pick it out and select it as one of the three alternatives and lo and behold it did. So I make that my thumbnail and I made the video live and it's now had 1200 views and hasn't been demonetized. Yes, or even yay. But why am I cheering? I shouldn't have to go through this in the first place anyway. And then I did that for a second video and that worked as well. That's also around about 1200 views without being demonetized. So the first one this morning, I, um, decided to upload the real thumbnail because you don't want a screen grab really because it is a screen grab of a frame from a video it's not ever going to be sharp and crisp which doesn't matter that much because mostly you're seeing this thing like that size but sometimes you are seeing it bigger and and it needs to be as good as you can make it so i swapped in the real thumbnail uh like nine o'clock this morning it's now four o'clock in the afternoon and last time i checked it still hadn't been demonetized so i actually have no idea what youtube are playing at um not that i ever did it's entirely possible they just abandoned the demonetization thing altogether or they just lie um either way they'll never tell us because you know they don't deign to communicate with creators very much and um yeah, on we go. Anyway, I thought you might have found that interesting, so now you know. Thanks for having the patience to watch it. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. Now please do the usual. Likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, donations, patronage, all that good stuff. Or just some of it. <laughs> and thank you for watching, and see you next time.